Good evening, everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss my current expectations for Friday, July the 14th. Quick disclaimer, not a financial advisor, not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy or sell a security. These are all my personal opinions. So looking at the way that price delivered on Thursday, okay, looking at the NASDAQ, knowing that this week was CPI, core inflation rate, and then producer's price index on Thursday. So two heavy hitting events back to back. That should have clued me off immediately that we were going to get some abnormal price delivery. Um, and so that was, that was a mistake in analysis on my part. Friday, we have uh, Michigan consumer sentiment. Now, I don't believe in fundamentals at all, but Generally speaking, the American consumer is, is doing very badly. And I imagine that that number is going to be pretty freaking terrible. Just saying. Um, my current expectations for Friday is that we're going to see another strange day of price delivery. Like the high of the day is probably going to come in at a strange time. Um, I'm expecting abnormal things. Okay? Okay. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm expecting. Uh, just because of how many economic events there have been this week, the fact that we have another one on Friday, this Michigan, the consumer sentiment, consumer expectations. Um, I fully expect that Friday is going to be another day of, of strangeness. So what are my normal expectations? Well, normally I expect that the Asian the Asian session from resettlement to London should consolidate. I expect that the high or the low of the 24-hour banking, 24 banking cycle most days should come in between 0300 and 0530, which is the London Stock Exchange at AM session. I expect that there will be a reprice higher or lower if we have a news event on the uh, 0830 news embargo lift. I expect that whatever direction leading up into the New York Stock Exchange Open will be a Judas swing and then we, we move in the opposite direction. Um, so, and then I expect that New York lunch from 1200 to 1330 is going to be a run on stops. I expect that that run will start from uh, 1050 to, or there will be one from, what is this macro, uh, 1050 to 1110. I expect that there will be some sort of a run on stops between 1515 and 1545. That's the market on close macro. These are expectations that I have. Um, I expect that price will often draw down to the opening range or the regular trading hours gap if there is one. And so on a daily basis, I have expectations. Now, when are those ex expectations expected not to be met? Unexpected events and economic releases so high impact economic releases basically and this week obviously was CPI and PPI the core inflation and producers price index and uh, with that in mind it, it should have been uh, expected to me to expect the unexpected this week which obviously we got that on Thursday um, we put in the low at a very strange time. Like we put it in at like a really weird time. We put in the low for the day at uh, 0100. We had this weird thing happen at New York open midnight. Um, the whole day on Thursday was very odd. Okay. Um, but that's to be expected if you're expecting the unexpected. So Friday, I'm not letting it fool me again. I expect that Friday's price action on the NASDAQ is going to be interesting. I don't expect it to behave nor to quote unquote behave normally. Um, I am expecting it to to be uh, unexpected, so to speak. Um, so my expectation going in on Friday is that the NASDAQ could have a big this is just my thinking big down day. Like big, big, big. Or maybe limit down. Like very substantial black candle. If it's not Friday, then maybe it's next week. Looking at our daily chart, 
that is an inefficiency right there. Also, these volume imbalances tend to be traded through. Okay, that takes us hundreds of points lower. That's almost, I think that is limit down. Is it not? No, it's not limit down. That's 1.69%. Limit down is 5%. Okay, so not limit down. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I'm expecting Friday to either be a consolidation day and then we get the big black candles on next week or Friday just comes right back down. It's a huge black candle. Um, so I'm expecting some funky business on on Friday. Um, I really am. And uh, my normal day trading expectations, the ICT daily profile, not expecting. I'm not expecting it. I'm expecting some some strange stuff. So, you know, going into Friday, I think it's a very good day to use very small leverage if you're going to trade. Obviously, guys, I could be wrong. It could be a completely normal looking day, but I am kind of spooked, and I think it's going to be uh, a very interesting day Friday. That's that's kind of my current thinking. Um, so we will see, guys. Uh, obviously, the book is quite net long right now, like massively net long. If we take a look at the S&P 500. We ended up trading up into that weekly volume imbalance, the weekly inefficiency here. And we just delivered into a short-term premium of that. What does premium do? It seeks, disc it seeks discount. So knowing that, knowing that the ES punched through to that weekly volume imbalance, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I'm expecting something funky on Friday, and then next week I'm kind of expecting black candle. Um, just looking at the ES and the way that it delivered, and then with the NASDAQ, look at how inefficient we are back to the downside. Uh, eventually price is going to come back and roll these to the sell side. I just, you know, as the question is, is it now? Now it's kind of the way that price has been acting. So strangely, I would say that eh, maybe it is now. Um, yeah, looking at our daily chart, this is a book that is out of balance, in my opinion. Uh, volume imbalance lower, BISI lower, volume imbalance here on the daily time frame. Like, this is a book that is very out of balance right now, so... I would hasten to guess something funky on Friday. Bye.